Assalamualaikum and hi. Okay, uh, my name is Ahmad Shahir bin Ismail. In this video, me and my friend will be discuss on the topic of uh, HVAC applied acoustic and vibration, which is impact of acoustic and vibration of HVAC on the human health and safety. Okay, firstly, uh, what is sound? Sound is a form of energy that can be heard and travels in waves. Okay, when metal vibrates or move uh, back and forth very quickly, a sound is made. Okay, then sound waves can travel through solid, liquid, and gas. Okay, such uh, for the example here is uh, the school bearings. Uh, then it will vibrate and creating sound. For the other example is drum and uh, guitar. Okay, the next one is uh, what is noise. Okay, noise is uh, sound that which uh, is unwanted and disrupt one's quality of life, known as noise. Okay, normal sound becomes undesirable when it disturbs our normal activities, such as walking, sleeping, and during conversation. Okay, World Health Organization stated that. Uh, noise must be recognized uh, as a major threat to human well-being. Okay, then uh, here uh, is the example of noise, which is construction activity, dog barking, loud music, and others. Assalamualaikum and hello. Uh, my name is Muhammad Izzat Izzin Ben Hanafi and I will continue with impact of noise in human health and safety. Okay, the impact of noise in human health, uh, there is uh, some effect will happen if we overhear a noise which is uh, hearing loss, tinnitus, uh, cardiovascular effects, and bring human stress, annoyance, and child physical development. Okay, for human safety, uh, it will happen mostly at the workplace, such as uh, interference, communication, and concentration, reduce awareness of surroundings, reduce productivity, and contribute to workplace accidents and injuries. Okay, uh, there is several method to reduce the impact of noise or acoustic, uh, such as uh, modification of the energy source, which is uh, reduce the fan speed uh, or impact force. Uh, as the example, okay. Second one is uh, use of viscoelastic materials to damper or cover surface that vibrate due to mechanical forces. Uh, single layer damping occurs when a layer of material, uh, one or three times thicker than the surface itself, is applied. Uh, ideal for thin surfaces. And the third one is minimizing gaps in machine guards or covering them with a acoustic absorbent material. Okay, the next one is replacing chain and gear drive with belt drive. Uh, it can avoid uh, or reduce the noise which is uh, using uh, the belt drive uh, other than a uh, gear drive. Uh, replacing metal gears with plastic gears uh, or using gears with two pattern which provide a quiet run. Uh, the next one is replacing metal part with plastic runs and the last one is replacing motor with quiet quite quiet to one. Okay, this is uh, 
scenario A which is uh, the noise problem and this is the solution for scenario A the first one I uh, use a sound absorbing blanket or insulation wall for outdoor unit to reduce the noise okay, the second one is pick the right location for outdoor unit which is we should put the loud outdoor unit uh, as far as possible from certain rooms such as bedroom or the study room Okay, the last one is install a fence which is full four sided fence with absorbing wall. Okay, the next one is causes of uh, noise. Okay, the first one is high blood pressure which is regular exposure to noise has been associated with an increase in blood pressure. Okay, for the human, for example, uh, the human with uh, exposure of the so much uh, noise will make uh, their blood pressure increase okay the next one is birth defects women who were exposed to 85 to 95 decibel uh, noise during pregnancy were more likely to bear uh, children that had hearing loss okay for example for 85 to 95 decibel is um, heavy traffic and uh, noisy restaurant okay the next one is heart attack one study showed that noise caused 3860 heart attack in germany in 1999 which is killing 2232 people okay the next one is ulcers okay noise causes digestive change uh, that lead to ulcers. Ulcers are five times are common in certain noisy noisy industries as would normally be expected. Okay the next one is reduced productivity. Noise can interfere with communication and concentration and can contribute to workplace accident. Okay this will mean uh, that uh, the noise will make people uh, not productive which mean uh, such as due to conversation communication meetings and we will we'll, uh, comes with uh, accident when too loud of noise hi my name is Muhammad Hazim Ashraf bin Mazdan my number metric card is B0198 one zero two four eight. So today I uh, will continue uh, the presentation about uh, vibration. So uh, what is vibration? So basically, uh, vibration is defined as oscillatory oscillatory movement of particles around their equilibrium in a solid body liquid or gas in the infrasound frequency range so example is 20 hertz and to a to a lesser extent in the audible audible sound frequency range up to uh, 1500 hertz so because in industrial situations vibration usually occur in air uh, in the audible frequency range and it is normally also experienced uh, it as sound next slide is uh, the impact of vibration on human health uh, we have two impacts uh, first impact is hand transmitted vibration so hand transmitted Hand transmitted vibration is prolonged ex exposure to hand transmitted vibration HTV from power process or tool is associated with an increased occurrence of symptom and sign of disorder in the vascular, neurological and osteoarticular system of the upper limbs. So the complex of this 
this order is called hand arm hand arm vibration syndrome so the vascular component of the HAV syndrome is represented by a secondary form of Raynaud phenomenon known as a vibration induced white finger the neurological component is characterized by a peripheral diffusively distributed neuropathy with a predominant sensory impairment so the ostre osteoticular component includes the degen degenerative change in the bones and joint of the upper extreme extremity mainly in the wrist and elbows so basically uh, the example is uh, bone and joint disorder so neurological disorder uh, muscle and tendon disorder and lastly vascular disorder so next uh, the type is the whole body vibration uh, the type of impact of vibration on human eh head is whole body vibration so what is whole body vibration is the long term occupational exposure to tense whole body vibration is associated with an increased risk for disorder of the lumbar spine and the connected nervous system with a lower probability the neck shoulder the gastrointestinal system the female reproductive system, organs the peripheral veins and the Cochlear vestibular system are also assumed to be affected by the whole body vibration. However, there is a weak epide epidemiologic support for whole body vibration induced disorder of organ system other than the lower back. So, the example is lower back disorder and whole body exposure. Second, motion sickness. Third, the impairment of vision and lastly the reproductive organ damage so uh, next slide is method to controlling exposure to vibration firstly anti-vibration tools so the anti-vibration tools is can be designed or mounted in ways that help reduce the vibration level for example using the anti-vibration chainsaw reduce acceleration level by a factor of about 10 this type of chainsaw must be well maintained and maintenance must include periodic replacement of shock absorber second the we use the anti-vibration glove so the conventional protective glove example cotton or leather commonly used by worker do not reduce the vibration that is transferred to worker hand when they are using vibration tool or equipment. Anti-vibration gloves are made using or using a layer of viscoelastic material. Actual measurements have shown that such gloves have limited effectiveness when the when the vibration hazard cannot be removed or controlled adequately. Personal protective equipment uh, PPE such as anti-vibration glove may be used. So third, uh, safe work practices. So along with uh, using anti-vibration tool and glove, worker can reduce the risk of hand arm vibration syndrome by following uh, work practice. First, use a minimum strength hand grip that still allow the safe operation of the tool or process. Second, wear a sufficient clothing, including gloves, to keep warm. Third, avoid continuous exposure by taking a uh, rest period. Fourth, rest the tool on the workpiece whenever practical. Fifth, uh, do not use faulty tool. Sixth, uh, maintain tool, tool properly. Tool that are worn, uh, blunt or out of alignment will vibrate more. And lastly, consult a doctor at the first sign of vibration, disease and ask about the possibility of changing to a job with the less exposure.
and the lastly is uh, employer employee education so the training program are an effective means of heightening the awareness of uh, HAVs in the workplace training should include proper use and maintain vibrating tools to avoid unnecessary exposure to vibration so the vibrating machine and equipment often produce loud noise as well therefore training and education in controlling vibration should also address uh, concern about the noise control we we'll continue on the next slide uh, this is example of scenario b the vibration problem So the solution for scenario B vibration problem is uh, first uh, we can replace the stopper because the stopper act as a spring to reduce the vibration. So second we check the compressor oil and replace with a new if necessary because the if the oil oil level in the compressor is uh, at the lower lower level, uh, it may cause the vibrate. It may cause the compressor to vibrate more. I think that's all for our presentation. Thank you.